Okay, right, so here we are. Tonight we're going to make some sticky chicken stir fry um, <laughs> with noodles, but I'm not going to use the Kadak, I'm going to use the electric pan. Now, the reason why. <laughs> Get Ow. off the wine. Ooh, the reason, yeah, I know, thanks. <laughs> the reason why I'm going to is because some people have said to us, we can't do gas. For whatever reason, they don't like taking gas around in the car or they haven't got gas in a caravan if they're out camping. But a lot of people do use electric hookup. So we've got this Von Chef fan, um, pan here that we've had for years and it's a good piece of kit you can chuck it in the back of the car and it works the next time you can store it in the caravan and it really is a good piece of kit it's also very very good if it's a bit of a windy day you can do a stir fry in it you can do a breakfast in it you can do a paella in it you can do all sorts of things a chicken curry the whole caboose and and you've got a lid there that goes on and it's absolutely great so let's just move that up there let's just turn that on and uh while she's taking the wine let's turn that on pop that down there have some uh, remuneration while absolutely I'm standing here. mrs t so here we are um and we're going to use the same foods that we did with the kadak um, so we've got the noodles that we got from Aldi. We're cooking for three of us, three adults. This is certainly enough for four adults-ish, or a family of four. You're trying to say I eat too much. <laughs> All of us eat oh, too much, yeah. my sweets. So we've got three packets of these, the already made noodles. There's two in there, plus that one. They're about 90 pence. So you're looking at about £1.40 there. You've got some stir fry again for um, hot and spicy for about 90 pence. We've got a couple of the um, sachets here, oyster sauce and spring onion, they're 29 pence. I've got 600 grams of chicken breast there, just under three quid from Aldi, and I've put some garlic in it. And then we've got some sesame seed oil. Slop that into your pan, a good dollop of that. It's the sesame oils. So it does, you get, you get that Chinese. smell, yeah. you get that Chinese mm, it's smell. Nice. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then just wooden spoon, and in we go. So we're gonna cook it live, it doesn't take long. Let's wallop that in, you can hear that sizzle. And then you just need to make sure that you get all that sesame oil in that chicken. Get that garlic swishing around that pan. And it really does start to Give off oh, the good. most mm. amazing smell. Definitely and that is mm. one of the good things mm. about cooking on a campsite. You get those smells wafting across. And there's nothing better than A, cooking outside, and B, eating outside. You right there, Mrs. T? Yeah. Yeah, got enough wine? Yeah, well, so, not really actually, but hey. So just keep that on the move. Keep moving that around. Just making sure that we've got all those bits of chicken in there and we've got them all cooking. Okay. And while that's cooking away, you can start unpacking your noodles. So let's just tear open that lid. There's the three packets of noodles, so that's good. And we've got the stir fry veg there. And this is the spicy one, so this has got chilies in it, um, which really does give it a bit of a kick. Um, obviously there are other supermarkets available. Are there? Yeah, there's oh. Tesco's, Sainsbury's, Asda. They're not as cheap as all these, are they? They're not, actually. Oh. Um, and it's, you don't lose the uh, quality either. But there you go, that's, everybody has their own preference. If you want to go to Marks and Spencer's or Waitrose, you can. If you want to go to Sainsbury's, Tesco's, Aldi, Lidl, you can. Have you, can you put any more in there? I can't think of any other, uh, <laughs> can't think of any other um, supermarkets to mention But it's really lovely one. to see you're not being biased. Yeah, there, yes, we, go. there we go. Yeah, that's Perfect. a big word for you, biased. It's, it's, it's only a small word, it's only got four letters. Yeah, it sounds big, doesn't okay, it? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Right, keep it on the move. And then the next thing we're going to do is add that vegetable. So, chuck that veg in all the way in there and again just stir that in keep that going and let that start to break down 
Can I have some of your wine in a minute? No, you can't. Oh, okay. I've got it off. Yeah. I'm going down a bit. Okay. Keep that mm. on the move. In my acrylic glass. That's another video. Come on. And there we go. So don't forget these pans, you can get a lot in them. You can get all different sizes. Um, and they really, really are, I think, the workhorse for the campsite. Now, when we go off on our meets, we have uh, breakfast, don't we, with all, yeah. the, all the caravanners bringing all their Yeah, uh, we have about pans. four or five of these lined yeah. up. One's got eggs in it, yeah. one's got bacon, one's got sausage. In fact, next weekend we're at a beer festival, and it's uh, part of my job is to cook bacon butties every Saturday, well, Friday, Saturday and Sunday morning for everybody who's setting up. For the helpers. And you can, you can get a lot of bacon cooking away in here that um, feeds a lot of guys and girls that uh, are all giving up their time free just to try and raise money for charity. So, right, there we go. That's all nicely cooking away. And then we're going for the sauce. Again, 29 pence each from Aldi, that's all they are, mm. really good. You get different flavours as well, can't you? All different flavours, mm. we prefer the uh, spring onion and oyster, uh, we like a lot of sauce in our stir fries, I think yeah, I've said that before. You like a lot of sauce, don't you dear? Oh, don't we all? Mm. Do you like it nice and wet? Oh, we know. There we go, there's one, uh, pop in the second one in. Clear that off, like so, wipe that in. Again, that's, as I said, the sauces, well, Mrs. P was talking about the sauces, different sauces, you can get a sweet and sour, uh, this is oyster and spring onion. I'm sure there's a black bean or something on There's a black there. bean and onion one, I think, there's a, a, a red chilli one or a sweet chilli sauce. So you can get so many different sauces. And of course, if you're cooking this meal a couple of nights a week, certainly when you're camping, you know, a couple of different sauces makes the whole meal change. So there you go. You can see that sauce bubbling away there. And how far are we into the video, Neil? I don't know. Um, 7.34. 7.34. So I had a bit of a chat before we started. Yeah. So it hasn't taken long. So opening up the noodles, you can see they're already cooked. So it's just a case of heating them through. Slide them into the pot, and as they start to warm up, they start to break down those noodles, and that's when you can start mixing it. So, you're gonna have to hurry soon, because nearly out of wine. I'm sure you are. Mm. So just keep turning those over, make sure you get start to get those noodles warm, and get them into that. And give it a good mix around. And they'll start to break down. See, there you go. And this is when you get to start to mix it all in together and turn it into that dish ready for serving. There we go. Fixing away. Nicely stirring it up. There we go. As I said, this would easily do for adults or a good family of four. There's lots in oh, there. Oh, three little pigs. Three mm. little pigs. And there's a few of us in here tonight waiting for this. So just give it a good stir and a good toss. Less of the jokes there. I didn't laugh. No, I'm sure you wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't laugh for years at my jokes, my dear. Well, I know them all. That's the problem. That's quite true. So there we go. Look at that. A nice, sticky chicken stir fry that's only taken us a few minutes to prepare. There's enough there for four. So if you're really hungry, one. <laughs> um, Three of us are going to be digging into that tonight and just make sure that all those noodles are broken down, coated with that sauce, keep it moving. And the good thing about these pans as well is they don't really stick. You have got um, a 
a non-stick base there. And yeah, perhaps I shouldn't be using this because it's a non-stick base, but um, it doesn't have done any harm. It's as good as new. I think we've had this nearly 10 years now. But this does go to show you can do it in one of these electric pans. And as I said, it is the workhorse of the campsites. Um, and you don't just need to do this, you could do a paella in it, you could do a curry in it. You know, the breakfast, all, we? yeah, we, we have done it all. So there you go, that is your sticky chicken stir fry. Look at that, ready to go. That's absolutely good. wonderful. All done within a few minutes. Oh, yeah, finished. There you go. I hope you found that of interest. Please give us a thumbs up. We really, really, really would appreciate it. Hit that red button and subscribe. Again, we're showing you another option of how you can cook a meal on a campsite. And this is what it's all about. Please share the video, tell your friends. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.